G'day guys, alright so we are in another Outtech off-grid build that we've just completed. It's a network RV, uh, family bunk van, uh, with as you can see an L-shaped lounge. Uh, so what the story behind this one was, um, these guys actually contacted us during the point at which they were ordering the van. They are a referral client, so um, thanks to all of our existing clients that refer new clients to us, it's very much appreciated. Uh, so this one um, had a very basic system, which is perfect from a, um, from a blank canvas perspective. So a couple of AGM batteries down on the chassis, solar regulator in the overhead cupboard. These network RVs come with um, a battery charger and a little bit of um, DC distribution down underneath the bed, which is partitioned off. Um, so what we've done is we've removed all of that, left the DC distribution down there, uh, removed the overhead, sorry, removed the solar regulator in the overhead cupboard. And what we've fitted in here was uh, 1180 watts of solar. So that this van came with 600 on it already. Um, and the panels that were on the van are, are good quality panels. So we, we actually worked with those. We kept those up there. We just re-cabled everything to the roof to meet the new standards. And we've added two 190 watt inner drive panels and two high voltage 100 watt panels to uh, Tetris out the roof. So there's literally no more space up there for anything. It's um, it's full so that's 1180 watts uh, we've got an inner drive 2600 watt under the seat we've got three solar regulators uh, to take in each one of those different panels we've got all of our isolation and fusing we've also got an inner drive DC DC underneath there which again we've cabled out to the side for um, portable panels and we've also got a 550 amp hour battery and um, that battery this this seat compartment actually had uh, a segregated little compartment underneath here so we've actually utilized that space for the battery compartment so fully sealed that box um, once the customers have a look inside here we'll we'll close this all up screw the lid down and and seal it off uh, it's vented externally as we normally would do uh, and we've also got Cymarine installed in this van as well so um, Cymarine in the overhead cupboard gives them, gives them the ability to do their battery monitoring, their solar monitoring, their load monitoring so we've given them a really nice bit of functionality here you can sort of see uh, at the top we've got our existing 600 watt panel uh, our two new 190 watts and we've also got the two 100 watt inner drive high voltage panels coming in through their own channel DC DC charger total ins and outs and overall battery monitoring ambient temp uh, so over the course of the time that we've had this van which has actually been a couple of weeks it's been really good we've been able to do some really nice function testing with this particular van so once again it's not been super hot where we live um, it's probably been high 20s uh, you know we're getting into the time of year where it is getting a little bit overcast occasionally so uh, we're not getting a huge amount of solar um, generation from panels but even with that in mind when we've been doing our testing, we've been running this air conditioner, uh, which is a Bel Air 3500. Um, we've been running that on the system and depending upon cloud cover, um, the worst we've seen from starting at eight o'clock in the morning and finishing at 6.30 at night, uh, the worst we've seen is about 65% left in the battery. And that's from running this air conditioner all day. And as I've said a number of times before, these air conditioners are probably the, the heaviest consuming air conditioners you'll get in a caravan. It's um, the largest of the kilowatt in, kilowatt out arrangement. Uh, so in with that in mind, the system's working an absolute treat. These guys will be able to you know, run their air conditioner for a couple of hours 
at night time and, and still be very comfortable that they're going to be able to recharge that battery the following day. With the air conditioner, we have done a modification to it. So, um, as I always say, these, these air conditioners are direct online, so they do use, um, they don't have any soft start functionality built into them. So we, we incorporate a soft starter into that uh, to make sure that the, the inverter's looked after. So all in all, it's a very, very nice system uh, for these guys. They are gonna travel around Australia, so they, they started talking to us, I think it was about 18 months ago when they first started talking to us, um, and they've had this van booked in for six months. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're getting very close to being setting off for their travels. This system will allow them to camp wherever they like for as long as they like. They won't run out of power. Uh, they're gonna run out of water before they run out of power. So, um, you know, the, the system's uh, a, a large capacity system for what they're gonna use it for. We also did a couple of other things. We've added an extra Sirocco fan just above the bed. Um, and we actually added um, another socket outlet up here as well. Uh, 240 volt point so that they can run an induction cooker on this bench top if they need to Right, so all the power points are hardwired so when they're off grid they can um, Run any of their 240 volt. That's right. Appliances. Yeah. Awesome. Shall we have a quick look at the um, yes. setup in here? Nice and neat um, as I say, we've got all of our isolation in there required for the standard, uh, plus all the additional isolation that we like to add. And let's have a quick look at the battery. Awesome, and then that'll be sealed off. So the customer's coming to pick up the van this morning, so we're looking forward to doing a handover for them um, and looking forward to hearing about their travels. Any questions, as always, don't hesitate to hit us up. We're always more than happy to answer them. See you next time, guys. Cheers.